Welcome to part two in my Winter Wonderland Marble Dip Powder and Nail Art series. Today I take you through four different nail designs hand painted with gels and I even threw in one bling nail. Hi, I'm Ginger from WebWench DIY Nails. I've included chapters for you to use to get right to the nail art you want to see. So let's get these nails done. Well, I thought I was recording when I showed you my filing job is done. I'm really glad I left these two um, without any. And then I put my base coat on before I realized that I wasn't recording. I'm sorry. But the base coat revealed the magic in the background. I'm glad I did that. All right, put that in the light for 60 seconds. Then I'll do the rest of the nails uh, with the base coat and then I will take Cascade Color Works matte gel top coat and see how I like that one. I've had trouble finding a matte that I can tolerate. They just feel funny to me. One felt uncured even though I knew it wasn't and the other one was satiny. I heard there's a there's a there's a matte and then there's a satiny matte. I don't know which one this is, so we're going to find out together. And I just touched this to my sweatshirt, so hopefully I got no fluffies in there. Let me matte coat this before I, <laughs> I really mess it up. Okay. Apparently all matte coats are kind of milky. I use the same method of applying to the middle of the nail and pushing up to the cuticle area. I use that all the, for everything. Every liquid that I'm putting on the full nail. Uh, it's important when you're using matte top coat to get the layer as even as possible by gliding it over the nail, otherwise you'll get streaks. You will see it in the matte top coat. Everything has its own little idiosyncrasy. And that's part of the fun of experimenting. Or it's also why experimenting is necessary. And I have something on there. Fluffies. Fluffies are everywhere today. Okay, I think that's a pretty good even layer. Upside down magic. Abracadabra. 60 seconds. And then we get to see what their matte top coat looks like. Ooh, that's hot. Ooh, that's hot. Hot, 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 hot. I got a hot a heat spike, as you heard. Look at that snowflake. And these are, um, these are actually good ones. They're curved, so they sit on the nail better. But I mean, that's just, I was gonna draw snowflakes, but wow, how about some bling? I haven't had bling in so long. I might have to do that. And there's how the mat looks. My nails aren't big enough for these, but look at... Oh God, look at these, I like the silver ones. Oh yeah, I may have to go this way. Look at that. On the background that I already have the opalescence in, that even looks good on the mat. Well, that doesn't have matte on it yet. But look it, I love it. Aww. Eye Gel Beauty Jewelry Gel. I 
this is always a mess. So first things first, let's get matte on all the nails. It looks nice. I also make sure it's a no wipe matte. Oh, and it feels nice. It doesn't bother me, that's good. I like that, okay. This, this, these liquids and these powders together I'm getting nice thin layers, which keeps the bulk down and keeps your filing time down, and I really like that. But I think my shaping's getting better. My filing, my contouring is getting better. My cuticles don't look bad. I've come a long way in six months, I think. All right, there's the base coat. Look at that shine, wow. Oh God, I love the opalescence. Okay, get it stop. Put your matte coat on. Oh, look at that, wow. Oh my gosh, that's gorgeous. I like, I like, I like these even in the matte. Wow. Oh my gosh. It like took it down a notch. And I was able, to, ooh. I actually really like the way this one feels. Good job, guys. All right, so, wow, I really like that, holy moly. That's beautiful, look at that. All right, now I have to decide, am I putting these, the big one, like on here, like, that would hide a lot of what I love about that one. I think my nails are too little for those. What about this little tiny one? I had to see where the curve was. There we go. Oh, God, look how cute. <gasps> yes. Oh, my God, I love it. I... Love it. I want it to sit flat, so I'm gonna have to take it off the apex of my nail. I was putting it too far back for that. It was sticking up in the front, so I'm gonna try it right there. It's hard to get it centered. Every angle I look at it from looks different centered.
top one's pointing towards the center. And that's at the center. Right there is where I need it. So I'm going to flash here real quick. I'm really picky about seeing the glue. <laughs> so I put just enough to keep it on there. I'm flash carrying that. Uh, it's more than a flash care, Ginger. That was 30 seconds. Um, I did that so now I can now I can move around and it won't move on me. And I can fill in the gaps with glue with my tiny little brush here. Just to make sure that it's sturdy, it's on there, and I, I don't want it to pull on my hair any more than it's already going to because it's gems. I don't want hair to get stuck under there, so... I'll just fill it in real quick. Alright, that's uncomfortable. I can't I can't do that. I'm just going around the edges. Again, I'm not afraid it's gonna fall off. I'm afraid my hair's gonna get stuck under there, so I have waist length red hair. It's very, very thin. And I shed like a St. Bernard, so I don't know why I said St. Bernard. I'm not picking on them. I was attacked as, by a St. Bernard as a child, so whenever it's anything bad, I usually just blame it on them still to this day. So. Again, I'm just filling in those little gaps with glue the best I can anyway my long distance boyfriend is coming up this week I'm going to be ready for any kind of fancy dinner we might be going to my mother's birthday is coming up and we're going we're having a celebration for that, so I will be all set with my pretty snowflake nails. Okay, I'm gonna cure that, flash cure that quick. It's the first time I put a charm on my nail. I like it, it's pretty. So, I have little snowflakes. I really like that matte background. Okay, decide, Ginger. Well, I can place those. And I don't have to keep them on there. flat. I think I should really use <clears throat> top coat. Shiny top coat. Because things won't slide around on me that way. seal around that big snowflake. But if you're gonna go extra, it might as well be around the holidays, right? That's what I'm telling myself. I really like this music. Listen to that guitar. I love acoustic guitars. white silvery big one I have there. It would go better with that one. But this I like.
the ability to move these around because it's um, gel is very, very nice. I don't know what's too much. care all right that's I'm calling it that one's good all right so uh, all right I'm trying to decide do I try to get matte top coat between all the gems do I go over everything with top coat will that stop my gems from shining it might Susie I said that in a video I saw today so now I have to decide whether I should just leave it or put top coat around them the shiny kind I think because if I tried to go around with matte, anything I missed would look funny. So I think I'll go around it all with the top coat. Not over the crystals if I can help it because I don't want to lose my shine. So I'm going to get close. I'm going to go around the sides of every crystal, but not over the top. Kind of glue them in that way. Still have my nice shiny background. Seal all the stuff in. Without flooding my cuticles, without making weird waves in the top coat. That's my goal. Anyway, we'll see if I achieve it. Hold that upside down for a second. That is a very decorated. Oh, look which one that is. Well, if I flip anybody off, it'll be nicely decorated. They shouldn't be too insulted. That's what I always say. Ugh, gorgeous. Gorgeous. All right, there we have it. One gemmed up snowflake nail. I love it. Aw, so cute. I gotta do it for the holiday season, right? Go to a restaurant. Yes. Give me all the things. I have a pretty snowflake nail. Uh, I'll give that an extra 30 seconds. 5 millimeter. 20 millimeter. There we go. I have a nice palette. Can't find it. Don't don't know where it is. no clue so we'll do this for now all right I 
I'm gonna be quiet because I'm concentrating. <laughs> That's why I have the music on in the background. I hope you're enjoying it. I am. Hello, this is Ginger from Editing. And I don't know about you, but I've had quite enough of the Christmas music, so I'm gonna just put that on pause for a minute. <laughs> Enjoy some nice smooth sounds. I don't think I'll be do using music in the background that loudly anymore. It is nice when I'm doing a manicure by myself, but yeah, that was a bit much. I apologize. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed this series so far. I think I'm going to try to finish this up in this second video so that we don't draw it out to a third one. I have so much other stuff I want to get out to you guys. Um, so again, yeah, just saying thank you for watching. This brush was brand new. Anytime you use a new brush, be sure to clean it so it's it moves smoothly. It's not stiff anymore. They ship them with something on them that makes them stiff and they stick together, all the bristles. You don't want that. You want it to be able to move smoothly. So I just use alcohol here and I kind of rotate the brush in the lint-free white that has alcohol on it. And eventually I get it to this point where it's nice and fluffy and then you get a better line. So I'm going to let you enjoy some quiet until the next, next segment remind you to hit the like button if you like this kind of content. So I know, and if you haven't yet subscribed, please consider doing so. I have so much coming that you're not going to want to miss. At some point, you just got to say, okay, that's good enough. So, I'm going to go, and go the other way. Okay, I'm back. I didn't mind the music as much, but I also did not talk through this part, and I think it's important for me to point out the mistake that I made here. I cured the first line, the center line that goes down the center of the thumbnail. I cured that after I was done. That was good. 
What I didn't do was cure the second line that went horizontally across the nail. That's why I'm being so careful. I went ahead and I added extra lines after that without curing, so it's a little bit more difficult to remove the excess on each line with my brush using a little bit of alcohol. Another advantage to using gel, by the way, that I love and rely on, which is why I can't believe I forgot to cure the second line. So once you get, when you're doing nail art, this is, this is my point. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> when doing line art using gel paint, gel polish, whatever you're using, if it's a gel, the minute you get a line or a section of line art the way you want it, flash cure. Because then the next thing that you add to the nail, if you mess it up, you can wipe it off and you will not affect anything that has already been flash cured. I rely on this trick a little too much because this one time I forgot it really hurt. <laughs> and there's my phone. My cue to go and get you back to the video. I can't help myself. So, where am I? I'm, I'm, there it is. We're just gonna, we're just gonna, we're just gonna. We did a thing. All right, so I'm gonna cure that for a minute and we'll see what happens.
now. Ooh. Should I? You don't melt this now. You just leave it sugared, I think. Or you completely ignore all the voices and you do a shiny top coat. Why? I don't know. Something told me it would look better. And it already does bring out the background a little bit more. Because this is the whole story. I need that snowy, wintry, blustery background. For this to have the feel I was going for. So I'm glad already that I did that because it brought that out more. Makes everything a little bit more abstract. You want to know whether that's a snowflake, you're going to have to come in and look closer. <laughs> I like it. Pity snowflake. Okay. That's what happens. See? I have an entire nail as a snowflake. I don't know why I did that anyway. All right, I've got the gem snowflakes. I've got the regular snowflake. I think this nail is gonna need some icicles. Hello, it's me again, just checking in. I'm going to speed through this part, first of all, because my icicles don't look ic like icicles. <laughs> and I, I really didn't like the way my icicles came out. It was a first try, a first attempt at something new. I did different layers. I tried to put, later on you'll see, I use um, some, of, some of my bluish dip powder. I mixed it with top coat to try to give it some depth so I could put white on top of it to make the icicles stick out. It was a good idea in theory, but it didn't really work out very well. So, give you a little bit of break from the music. I'll shut up in a second. You can enjoy just watching me suffer through trying to figure this nail art out. <laughs> I hope you're enjoying the video. Have you subscribed? Hit the like button. Just checking. started the video because if I if they go over an hour I can't get them up on my my cloud so get that gel off my 
skin. using all the brushes tonight. Looks good. Okay, are we ready for the magic reveal? Winter Wonderland. All right, so final looks. Wintry, blustery, blingy, snowflakes. A little sweater nail, because I just can't help myself with little dots this time. Icicles and a big snowflake. Just fun with blues and ice and white and winter instead of... All right. I'll probably wrap this up here. I might include some um, final look or fashion shots if I do any of this, Manny, at the end. Otherwise, I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching and making it all the way to the end. That was pretty awesome. Let me know if, you wanted, if you'd be interested in doing a live. And I will see you in the next video. I got this hand to do. Woohoo!